Bereshit, Genesis 35. And Elohim said unto El Yaakov, Arise, go up to Beit El, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto Elohim, that appeared unto you when you fled from the face of Esau, your brother. Then Yaakov said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange Elohim that are among you, that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise and go up to Beatel, and I will make there an altar unto Elohim, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. They gave unto El Yaakov at all the strange Elohim which were in their, land, ha, in their hand and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Yaakov hid them under the oak which was by a Shechem. And they journeyed and the terror of Elohim was upon the cities that were round about them. They did not pursue after the sons of Yaakov. So Yaakov came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is Beatel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar and called the place El Beatel, because there Elohim appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. But Deborah Rivka's nurse died, and she was buried beneath Beatel under an oak. And the name of it was called Alan Bakuth. And Elohim appeared unto El Yaakov again when he came out of Padan Aram and blessed him. And Elohim said unto him, Your name is Yaakov. Your name shall not be called any more Yaakov, but Yisrael shall be your name. And he called at his name Yisrael. And Elohim said unto him, I am El Shaddai. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of you, and kings shall come out of your loins. And at the land which I gave Avraham and Yitzhak, to you I will give it. And to your seed after you will I give at the land. And Elohim went up from his place, rather from him in the place where he talked with him. And Yaakov set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone. And he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Yaakov called Et the name of the place where Elohim spoke with him, Beatel. They journeyed from Beatel there was but a little way to come to Ephrathah. And Rachel travailed. She had hard labor. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, you shall have this son also. 
And it came to pass as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Ben Oni, but his father called him Bin Yamin. And Rachel died and was buried in the way to Afrata, which is Beat Lechem. And Yaakov sets a pillar upon her grave. That is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Yisrael journeyed and spread his tent beyond Migdal Idar. And it came to pass when Yisrael dwelt in that land that Reuven went and lay with Et Bilha, his father's concubine. And Yisrael heard it. Now the sons of Yaakov were twelve. The sons of Leah, Reuven, Yaakov's firstborn, and Shimon, and Levi, and Yahuda, and Yisachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Rachel, rather, the sons of Rachel, Yosef, and Binyamin, and the sons of Bilha, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpa. Leah's handmaid, Gad and Dasher. These are the sons of Yaakov, which were born to him in Padan Aram. And Yaakov came unto El Yitzhak, his father, unto Mamre, unto Kiryat Arba, which is Shevran where Avraham and Yitzhak sojourned. And the days of Yitzhak were a hundred and fourscore years. And Yitzhak gave up his Ruach and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days. And his sons Esau and Yaakov buried him.